What's up guys? It's Nick from Mining Office. Uh, I hope you guys are doing okay and are surviving this period of total unprofitability. Um, it's been, I mean, a rough few days for a few people. Um, I've been mining on. You guys can probably hear my mining rigs are, that are still going. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep mining forever. I mean, I can pay out of pocket for electric for a little bit longer, but this won't last forever. Uh, at a certain point, I'll have to shut all my rigs off. Uh, but today, I've at least made the decision to diversify part of my hash rate. Um, I've had everything on Ravencoin for a while, and for a few days now, I've put a few cards on, you can already guess it, Flux. Um, I really got hyped up by uh, a video on Bits Me Trippin's channel, I'll link it up here, um, with Dan Keller on Flux, it was recent, it was this week, um, and that really hyped me up, uh, really got me more interested in the project. I'm not going to go through the white paper, I'm not going to go through all the features, you can literally just watch that video, it's like a one hour video, it's really amazing. Uh, so like I said, I'm not going to repeat on that, uh, BBT is, you know, Carter is so knowledgeable that really there's no point. Um, but I will show you guys, if you're interested, how to mine, if you're new to it, or maybe you're, you're you know, you've turned off since ETH, you're, you're trying to get back up and running and you're not sure what to mine. Um, well, yeah, I already have videos for Ravencoin. I'm going to be making a video for Flux. Here we go. And probably one for Ergo in the future. So the first thing you're going to need to mine Flux is obviously going to be a wallet. Um, and the, the wallet that's recommended here on the main page and also I recommend is Zellcore.io. Uh, so go ahead and click that download link. It'll bring you over to the Zellcore page. Um, just a little FYI, you can also now mine Ergo in there. Uh, so I in my opinion, the big four right now are ETC, Raven, Flux, and Ergo. Uh, so you can use this wallet for multiple of those coins. Um, and just go ahead and obviously download this depending on what platform you're on. Uh, you can get this on Windows, you can get this on Apple, you can get this on your Android. Uh, so take whatever platform which fits you best. Uh, create an account with a username and password. Make sure both are very strong and secure. And make sure you also back up your private keys or your minor key, I think it's called. If you can, always try and be as safe as possible. So once you have that set up, before we go any further, uh, you're gonna need an address to deposit your mining funds to. Um, so I'll show you how to do that once you have Zellcore up and running. So it should look something like this once you open up your Zellcore. Go ahead and click on over on the left side on your portfolio. You'll see you have a payments and also a mining tab over on the left hand side with some other things. Um, I personally use the mining tab, but I think the payments one is fine too. You're gonna wanna add the asset that you wanna mine. So in this case here, you can go in and type in Flux. Let's say you wanna mine Ergo in the future. Uh, you could afterwards go in and type in Ergo, add that as well. You can find multiple coins and tokens in here. So go ahead and add those assets and afterwards you'll be able to click on them. Uh, if you go over to the receive tab, you will find your miner address. This is your address where you can receive your mine flux. Uh, so go ahead and copy that. We're gonna need it later. The last thing we're gonna need to pick before we can actually get mining is going to be a pool. So I opened, I opened up uh, mining pool stats here. Uh, obviously the best website if ever you wanna find any pools for whatever it is, Ergo, Ethereum Classic, whatever token or coin you wanna mine. Um, so in this case, I went with fluxpools.net because I wanted to support the official flux pool and to my knowledge that is, uh, but you can see there are other good options here. Just make sure to pick something that pays out parallel assets because that's really going to directly affect your profit um, and you don't want to miss out on those. So just make sure you're picking a pool that offers parallel assets. I know I think the top four do, two miners, flux pools, miner pool and hero miners. Uh, so I would go ahead and pick out of uh, those. Maybe avoid Hero Miners actually, because I see they have a 1% fee here. So I would go with something that's feeless. So let's hop on over to the Octo Miner. That's why I'm repping the Octo Miner shirt today into Hive OS. And I'll show you guys what you have to do in the flight sheet to get it all set up and running on Flux, no pun intended. Uh, and afterwards, we'll talk a bit about GPU efficiency on Flux and a little bit about overclocks. So let's hop on over. All right, guys, so the first step once you're over in Hive OS, if you want to mine Flux, is to set up the flight sheet. So go ahead and add a new flight sheet. Uh, what you're going to have to do here is pretty simple. Uh, you want to go ahead and set the ticker or coin type to Flux. Um, you're going to have to add, uh, add a wallet in this case. So remember that uh, address we got over on Zellcore.io, the miner address or the mining address, excuse me. You're going to want to copy that and paste it in here, all right? Give yourself a name. I always like to call it like Zellcore wallet or you know whatever Exodus wallet or MetaMask so I can kind of know what it is and then the, the, the ticker. So in this case, you can see here I have Nick's Zellcore wallet. So I know it's my Zellcore wallet for Flux. Uh, in this case, our pool, we said it was gonna be Flux pools. 
Um, we're gonna go with US because that's closest to me over in Canada. Um, and the miner, I like to use Mini Z. It's the one I've tested, I've played with the most. So we're just gonna select that, but feel free to use whatever you think is best or you're familiar with, right? Um, the, th the only thing I'll actually configure here in Mini Z is probably add some arguments. Uh, because in my case, I want to run specific GPUs only on Flux. I have nine cards in this GPU, but I only want to be running three, the 1660 Supers, which I have two of, and the Red Fox 1070 Ti. So I'm going to go in and add in this argument here to select devices four, five, and six. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the changes. Um, that's it. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys the rest because I have to set up obviously the Ravencoin miner for the uh, six other cards I have in the Octo miner. But that's basically what you're going to have to do for Flux. So go ahead, complete your flight sheet, or you know just make it run for all your cards on Flux, uh, and then you'll have to play with your overclocks. Um, so overclocks, I'm not going to go over with really. I'll just show you guys basically what my cards are doing now on the Octo miner. But I'll give you guys some good resources for that. All right, after the flight sheet was configured for Ravencoin, I have everything mining. Uh, you guys can see the cards. It's gonna be GPU four, five, and six in this case. It's a bit offset because I also have the AMD card, which isn't counted in the Mini Z argument. So anyway, that explains the uh, one GPU offset on the devices. Um, I'm getting about 90 solds uh, with these three cards. The 1070 Ti is pushing out a good 40 to 41. Um, my first 1660 60, 60 Super, excuse me, the MSI one, uh, seems to have a better silicon lottery. I mean, it's getting between 50, uh, 25 and 26 souls. And the other one is a bit underperforming. It gets between like 22 and a half and 23. Max I see it as 24 souls. Uh, and they both take about 70 watts. Uh, whereas that 1070 Ti is, is pulling a bit more. Uh, it, it fluctuates between like 120 something, you can see here now 127, and like 140 something. I mean, even if I have the power limit set at a certain value uh, in Hive OS, I'll still see the power reading overshoot whatever I set. I mean, and that doesn't bother me because I rather it do that and it mine efficiently and keep that hash rate decent uh, versus being like limited basically and losing hash rate because of that. So uh, it, it's just a little strange, but I mean, it works for me. So a few other resources, two specifically, that are gonna be good for you guys as new flux miners and were useful to me are done by other members of the community. I mean, they're more well known than me. Uh, the first one is gonna be Seb Heslo. Uh, Seb's Fintech channel. He has a uh, video which I'll link here, I forget the name, but in that video you'll find link an Excel sheet uh, which has all the efficiencies and return per dollar of all the GPUs uh, basically. So uh, I went in that list based on that decided on which GPUs I wanted to put on Flux versus Ravencoin, right? So that was the first thing. Uh, I recommend you guys check that out. And the second one is made by Hobbyist. He recently released a Flux video with a bunch of overclocks which were submitted by the community. I actually submitted mine here for the 1660 Supers and the 1070 Ti, but that was a very good baseline because I've never had experience overclocking with Flux. So that was an extremely good baseline for me uh, to base my overclocks on. So a huge shout out to both of those guys. Uh, thanks for your resources, they were very helpful. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So that's it for today, guys. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. I actually have two questions. Number one, are you guys mining any flux? And number two, do you think I should put any more of my hash rate on flux? I'm thinking of putting this six times 1660 super rig here on flux as well. That way I'll have all my 1660 supers on flux, the 1070 Ti, and my 16 series cards that are here in my computers and in the Octo Miner will remain on Ravencoin for now. And maybe we'll put some of that on Ergo in the future. So let me know. I'm thinking of doing it, diversifying a bit more. I already have a bag of Ravencoin on top of it. So uh, another reason to diversify. And you know what? Maybe we'll just have to put up a flux flag over there. So anyway, that's it for today, guys. Appreciate it. We'll see you guys on the other side. Peace out.